<laughs> That's right, everybody. This is a matchup that has been in the making since Lima Major. We saw it again twice, in fact, at Dream League. I mean, there's got to be something there. And there's no horn guy to help you this time. That's true. You're all on your own. <laughs> you just got to do it the hard way. And apparently they're going to start off with a very, very, very good kill. More importantly, it goes to C Smile. The kill stable light for first blood, but C Smile, the SF, getting a fast bottle. So you need your damage to come online early. You need to come online hard if you are EG here. Oh, our TZ. Strong lane phase is what you're looking for. And Matthew, he's off to the races. Yes. And we have seen these Crystal Maiden duos wreak havoc in terms of the early double roam. Free Jingu. Get some good damage on him. Might be enough to kill him. Bakaz actually tossed into the tower range. Takes a lot of damage on its way out. Will be able to jump to the trees. Fly. Looking at Panda here and will be able to get it. Fly secures it with the Purifying Flames. Bakaz dropping da back down. Gets the Jingu stacks up. Yes. We'll have to wait out. The Tidehunter plus Wukong. That's tough to fight into here. If Ob, it's your only jump. Oh, get and fly. Matthew, got to be careful, though. Abed continues his rotations. He does want to stay in this lane for long. They do have the Ravage going out, though, and RTZ is going to be brought down by Whisper with the final smash that comes in still, though. Outnumbered in this fight. Panda's going to help even the odds, though, as Saberlight came through. They didn't throw out the Requiem on the side of EG, though. Judging that shop fire, just going to be forced back. They're going to go for the dive under the tower, though. Fly, he's certainly going to be caught here. Bakaz looking for more. Spot nice Saberlight gets cut down from the tree, but Saberlight is kind of stuck in a dead end area. Not a whole lot of places to go here. He's just going to be pushed back up against the wall by the fear of the Requiem. Nice connection from Ichi. Your damage is gone. Abed again has to use so much to try and just kill Matthew there. And then there's just nothing Matthew, left. Matthew, that was so, such a greedy yeah, attempt. That was pretty greedy. <laughs> we're just going to not necessarily play super aggressive like Chop 5 might have expected, but we're just going to make sure Abed can't get some early kills, and then we're just going to farm on all our cores and feel really confident going into the mid game. Really good use of the illusion to slow him down. And oh, hey, Whisper, cutting in. Where is behind. Going to get the levels this game? Do you know? I, I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea because I would normally say, well, maybe they can get a kill, but this pipe makes getting any kills in this game extremely difficult. Did you have the old invincible tide hunter? That is a. Oh, he just ravages. He's like, okay, Saberlight, you want to step that far forward? You want to defend the tower that badly? I'm going to punish you. Is Albert going to scout him? Imagine if you had spell steal on Rubik, you might be able to get this kill. They're gonna try for it anyway. Oh, he does have it. Just gets in front of him. Ancients. Slowing him down. The Requiem's gonna go out though. Fearing him back. In fact, Abed's gonna take the triple raise. So much damage. Doesn't quite die to it. The Telekinesis is tossed back there with a firestorm. Does a decent amount of damage to C Smile. Because though, cutting through. Oh, the race has almost caught him. Abed able to TP away in time. Fly. He'll be left behind if Akaz continues his hunt looking for more. Man, that was fast, because while we were watching that, we we saw on the screen they went for the kill on Arteezy. So they got that, and Bakaz was able to make the rotation over. He is pushing very aggressively with his Aegis. Just one of a 1v1 Artor here. Arteezy having to run away top. from his base into a double damage SF. That was not the direction to run. No, it wasn't. CG team is also probably scarred from throwing some games, to be honest. Yeah, they that threw some games versus this team in particular. Lima Major yeah. was the, the reference that they were going that game three. I mean, EG was clearly winning that game. Yes. And had uh, one or two nasty fights. It only takes a couple pickoffs. Oh, get a force staff trying to save Matthew. He's tanky as hell, man. Gave him the pipe, gave him the mech. He's good. Shopify now have to retreat out of this one, but they're so far outside of their base. Where did they go? They have a high ground ward. I feel like you have to fight this. At the same time, they're tracked up. Actually, Panda coming through. Might be an easy kill for Arteezy. Oh, no, we got Heaven Teleported. Disarm. Oh, Does it drop down because that's an opportunity. Can he kill that's him back enough? He's lining up the cleaves. Does manage to get the one, but it is still just an Aegis, and ultimately the team fight from EG is far too strong. Matthew going to be leading the charge here to get some information on Shopify being outside of the base. The rest of the team is filtering in, but God's got to be careful. Actually gets dropped down right in front of the spend, but he has his BKB. So Arteezy's going to use his BKB and TP out. The rest of the team will try and find some little corner to hide in. 
and TP out as well. Because barely not seeing the Rubik there. Spots Abed. Abed's going to have to do some crazy jukes. Unfortunately, can't juke track. Oh, the gate. The trace. Doesn't work. I don't know. I think he just got like Firestorm or something. Yeah. Maybe got hit by Fabled on the bounce. Probably asking the same thing. Saberlight. It's a nice gate you have there. Yeah, what was coming through? They were going for Picaz. Picaz did have BKB. It was coming off cooldown. Arteezy trying to run at C Smile here is just going to be slowed down far too much to get any hits in. <laughs> uh, I would definitely be calling support after that one because I feel like that is the definition of a car crash right there. I just cannot seem to look away because Shopify Rebellion, yeah, they're in the lower bracket, but they have not looked like that bad of a team. Evil Genius is putting them to shame in this game one. Just no comeback, too. Like these Void Spirit drafts, they are very dependent on the first 10 minutes. You fall behind. You're a burst hero that is not scaling that well anymore in these supports who are tanky enough to tank your junt. Yeah, and he went for a physical damage build. If they go through the gate, they end up on top of the SF. Now, you see the rec you see the yeah, gate animation. Through. You should know oh, this is happening. Boy. Oh, this is awkward. BKB's going <laughs> to go off from C-Smile. Arteezy is in melee range with C-Smile, but he can't actually win this fight. It's yeah, not even it. close. I mean, GG instantly. I like how Fly didn't even go through the gate. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, guys. That looks terrible. Uh, I'll see you up there. <laughs> He's Don't worry, I'm coming. neutrals right now. <laughs> you can't coming. see it. <laughs> I mean, Kurt went through. He got insta slapped dead. C-Smile will do a bathrobe uh, walk around the hotel, around the block, outside. And if uh, EG wins, Ava will have to do it. Apparently, this was completely free from any interference of Avo. C Smile just thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And it's not looking so good for this game to start as they're already giving up first blood. They do get fly in return. Matthew is potentially going to die as well. Hit by a couple of grenades. Abed's going to be able to run him down. Big hit from C-Smile, though. That'll get a second kill as uh, Arteezy is the last one to fall in that team fight. So he can look great. He can win you games. But... <sighs> oh, from the high ground. Man, I'm getting distracted thinking about Centaur. What's your purpose? You're just a stampede? Oh, Glimpse back with the stun going out. Because gets his third kill of the game already. Killing spree for him. A Centaur is one of the strongest, like, passive offlaners in the game. Like, as in, you want a hero that just exists and plays for CS, he can do that. He has some kill potential when it comes to being with a Rubik. I'm not going to say it's amazing, but he's got some. And a glimpse back. We'll get you another double edge here. Okay, double, double edge for the kill. Going to continue to struggle here, at least for the foreseeable future. Oh, Craig going to be targeted here. They can burst him down, I think. Jeez. Yeah, that is damage. a lot. It is a lot. Fly was cutting in from behind, too. That's part of the reason why Crit was playing so aggressive there. But now Fly's just going to die as well. What this is, is going to be a super here? fast Radiance. My god, what's happening? Shopify are just beating kills. I mean, they're 3 v 2 in Picaz, Oh, and Abed's going to be able to kill mid. Okay. Abed seeing all of this disaster happen for Shopify. EG are just electrifying the monster. I don't know if Shopify know what's coming for him. More gold. Doom put on to their dear old Centaur. This is a good kill. This is a high level core. And it's denying to accelerate Abed here. Looking good for hold. Him. Does have another chains. Yeah, he's going to be able to catch up here. TP coming in, though. Legion commander. So they really got to be careful of this duel that's going to be coming in. Goes, jumps to the remnant just in time, but he doesn't have Havana. much left, and they're going to be able to hit him. Static Storm over the top of things, so definitely no saving Abed, but he does last long enough. They do not get the dual damage. They go for more kills, though. In fact, Panda winding up trying to get Saberlight here. Nice two-man stun, though, out from Crit. Beautiful stuff. The Centaur ultimate going down. Crit's going to die. Bomb. Saberlight's low, but the bomb explodes and finishes off Z Smile. And now Saberlight turns right back around with his Vanguard. Got to be careful, though. Whisper. Ooh, bad glimpse from Panda. Not what he wanted. A little bit too early on the trigger on that one. Oh, the oh tree. he uses the tree to get him out of the kinetic field. Beautiful stuff from Saberlight. Just summoning more for him. 
the door from the dogs high ground. Hit game. two, catches two with the chains at least. Pull him back in. Really nice use of the hurricane again by Saberlight. Honestly, if there wasn't Alka this game, this game would look great for Shopify right now. Yeah. Like, they're getting everything out of the better engagement. Oh, they do him a but got off the chemical rage first. Oh, this is real bad now. Saberlight does not feel good about that Doom anymore. Decent amount of damage put up by the techies. They're going to go for the kill on Fly and then call it quits from there. Early Crimson. Paying off in those engagements as well. Saber like just rushes it here with brown boots, but Makaza. Oh, they got big. a pull back on the glimpse. Used the hurricane to get him up to the high ground. Chains on two. Trying to get Saber light enough room, but the burn. The radiance. Oh, he could have kept chasing, but opts out of it. But you're not helping the dual fight that C Smile has just not been able to find. He's one and four with a blink. Find this one. Oh, because is here. Nice static storm over the top. Sea Smile is actually going to die, though. Too much damage from the tankies. Abed going to be pulled back in by the Glimpse. Dodge. No, the Flight dodges that one just in time. Abed actually managed to survive through all of that. Uh, this trying to help. Not necessary, because they got <laughs> the Shopify's out of here. Big bad alchemist is here. Nobody wants to kill. Some, somebody, somebody want the last hit, or? <laughs> Hi, oh, cool damage. Go. That's what we were looking for. He's on the board with ten. Nice. You gotta. Sometimes you gotta lay up the first one. You know. Yeah. Just yeah. hand it to him. Now he's getting some momentum. Now he feels better about his game. Nice guy, Picaz. Yeah, that was a rush solar crest. I mean, considering the fact this Legion commander was going to get that fast blink dagger, it's pretty good pickup. And the alchemist does a heavy amount of physical damage, so. And you have Fly going Pavis as well. So both teams going to have an early Pavis from their five. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably just to try and counteract the type of fight that's going to happen, which is you're blinking, you're dueling somebody. And both teams are just trying to win that duel with the physical mitigation. As well as, I mean, both teams are pretty physically oriented here. I'd say Shop 5 a lot more magic damage in terms of hybrid going late. But it does feel like these engagements are going to come down to you duel somebody or Picaz goes in and stuns somebody. And then it's about big bad right clicks. So if you can mitigate that, you're buying a lot of time for your cores. And... As big as Picaz is, Shopify, like, as we are saying, they're not in the worst position. Like, they're still having a pretty decent game on their cores relative to the 2 and 3 here for EG. If you can keep abusing the Legion, abuse the Centaur, find these core kills with Doom, Snowball, Ovid, I mean, he's 6 and 1. You still can take these fights. Alk is not an end-all, be-all. Matthew, going to be cleansed down. See Smile, putting that press the attack on him. And Saberlight, very far forward. He's going to be glimpsed back. He's going to be stunned as that happens, too. They're going to give him the duel now. Shopify, they thought about trying to play for that. They were so grouped up, but Didn't I guess that they're, off. it's all their auras, right? When their aura hero dies, and evil geniuses will try and catch whatever they can. Spot Stable Light, going to go for the Doom. That is great. Once again, it's your aura hero. Shopify are at a pretty big net worth detriment here, and it's only going to get worse when you're missing your big team fight hero. So, <laughs> spell amp alchemist with physical spells. Trying to catch our tour. Our TZ does have help. It's not very much of it though. I know it's just fly. Crit is also coming in soon. Going to get the glimpse back. I mean, they could hold him here for so long. The duel's going to go over the static storm, and Shopify don't even try and intervene. I don't think Sea Smile can just jump anybody. You have to be wary of the physical mitigation that can come in from Shopify, and then they can turn a fight. I've seen a really lot of teams. The this seems to be like the uh, triangle high ground. Didn't this is the chosen high ground no fight person. around. But is it going to be enough? Saberlight dead already. Once again, Shopify just hesitant to try and do anything to help Saberlight for fear of being caught in an even worse engagement. Glimpse back on an additional hero. That's going to be Fly. So, two for one special just not getting the Crimson Guard off before the duel. If that happens, those fights might look different. Because honestly, he's going to live through that duel. With yeah. Reeves armor plus Crimson active up. My question is, where's the like the techie stuff? Like, they could help him. They could give him a little bit more time. I mean, that's also a question. Like, if you're baiting the Doom, then you, you better be ready to take that type of fight.
Now, EG actually didn't wrap all the way around, so they're going to kind of meet on even ground here, where there is some decent vision from Shopify. They're going to get the Glimpse back. Do get Crimson like off. This time, the Crimson Guard does go off, but it's still a huge problem. There is far too much damage. Oh, that's the Hunnies. It comes in. The Static Storm goes out at the same time. RTZ laying into the Centaur is damage. It's not that immense, though. The Crimson Guard is blocking so much of it. Matthew with dueling freezing fields, but eventually does die. See, smile. What a big hit. That is an overwhelming odd shot that will Shopify will certainly remember as they head on back to the base. Whoever survives has to leave. This Roshan is no longer in contention. That's the turnaround the Shopify were looking for. Now you get your Crimson Guard. Now you get your Techies jump, but then your troll is stuck beating on a Centaur for 10 seconds. <laughs> he did so little he did damage. Nothing. He was just he <laughs> hit him like 30 times and it felt like he did like 200 I feel like damage. Most of that's not a lot of damage. Back to you. Great analysis as always, Avery. That's why I'm here. High ground push coming in for evil geniuses and they're working their way through that Crimson Guard, unlike RTZ against that Centaur. Did that tell you how farm Picasso is this game with literally a thousand GPM? He, he's so slotted he doesn't want the 25 minute ages on a carry. Like, you, you take it, Seasmile. Yeah, he, he really is unkillable. Disgusting amount of net worth. 9 and 0, 340 CS. Taking your buildings in 25 minutes with an Assault Kuros and already looking towards Strength Blink because he's slotted. And oh yeah, by the way, RTZ just got caught. Yeah, so they, they're okay. Duel. No RTZ, let's just go back in. Gotta get a glimpse back. Concoction and Static Storm. Now there is some shields blocking some of the damage. They're actually going to pop that stampede to make sure that Bacaz isn't caught in a doom inside of the enemy base. Reset a little bit. They have a buyback on RTZ, but I don't even know what initiation looks good for Shopify at this point. Sableye's going to go it's for it anyway. Out. It's going to be on Bacaz. A stomp follow-up. Nice hit from the techies as well, but the damage is just really not cracking through got Evil counter at all. They're going for Bacaz, but he's got the Pavis on him, blocking a bunch of it, plus the Crimson Guard, plus the Guardian Greaves. Now the Doom has ran out. The Doom was put back onto the Ember Spirit, so that's going to be looking like it for Shopify. A die back for RTZ. Nobody left to really hold the base. This timing way too good from EG. I guess this is where that Centaur shines. Four strength gain for that Crimson. What the hell does Troll do versus? Absolutely nothing is the conclusion. And now they're just hitting your tier fours. Christopher F. That's game, that's series. What the hell just happened? Absolutely destroyed of him. He smile. I wonder if uh, evil geniuses have been picked up on some of the <laughs> because joining in on it too. Dropped another one of the panel's nicknames. Yeah, not a, a non-PG name got dropped there at the end.